What are you doing today? Dr. Robert Kassar, EarthRacademy.com. Think about that. What are you doing today? That's a big question. Okay, and it can go in a lot of different ways. What are you doing today? Are you going to do something for someone? Are you going to do nothing? Are you going to do something for yourself? Are you going to do something that is, well, you know that is wrong, but, well, you think it's right, that's why? Remember, what are you doing today? Rethinking reality. Now, you know, we spend a lot of time doing a lot of things, and a lot of times we do a lot of things and it makes no sense to the reality of helping yourself. Yeah, going to get a job, making some money, okay? And of course, money's broken down to the, to the, to the one eye, the one eye, the mono eye, okay? Anyways, symbolism goes deep. But what are you doing today? Are you making shekels? What are you doing today? Are you poisoning yourself, eating all different types of processed foods, canned foods? What are you doing today? Are you learning to become a ruminant animal, as a lot of people are on the vegan diet? They're trying to see if they can maybe change their physiology to be just as good as a cow's, a sheep's, a goat's, or any ruminant animal. Okay, just to see if they can be like them, which is to break down plant matter, ferment it, and be able to, well, they chew food all day, but again, what are you doing today? Eating all day? Like the animals do? Remember, they got special bellies, rumens, to be able to break down plant matter. We can break down some of it, but, well, that's another story. What are you doing today? Are you doing any research for yourself? Remember, these are just things to ask yourself. The reality that we are in right now is a reality that really, really doesn't want us to do anything. And what are you doing today has a lot to do with how much testosterone you have in your body. Okay, what are you gonna do today? Or how much testosterone do you have in your body? And I'm talking about doing something doing something physical. You can do a lot of things mentally too. Remember, that's the, the mind prison, the digital mind prison. We did a video on that. Do you live in a digital mind prison? Okay, think about it. You're on your phone all the time. What are you doing today? You're texting every four and a half minutes or so. Somebody, <clears throat> the average person checks their phone to see if they're important, if they, if they got a thumbs up, see if they got a whatever, okay? ding 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 okay is for the ding-a-ling is because you're distracted all day long a lot of D's there and you graduate when you spend all your time wasting your time to well really do nothing so what are you doing today are you feeling everything today do you have too much estrogen in your body because that's a good thing well to be able to have a blend of estrogen and a blend of testosterone. Remember, the male okay, has a higher testosterone than the female, but he also has a blend of estrogen. Not too much, just a little. Okay, Estrogen makes you feel and testosterone makes you do. So what are you doing today is based a lot upon are you going to do a lot of stuff with your mind? Or are you going to do a lot of stuff maybe with your body? Okay, I'm going to go work out right now. And I'm going to do a lot with my body right now for about 45 minutes. I'm going to work arms. And, well, that's the beginning of my doing today. I've done my laundry this morning, cleaned my house this morning, cleaned my kitchen this morning, cleaned my toilets this morning. I did a lot of things. It's a Saturday morning. So, again, what are you doing today? And a lot of people are really, well, they're spending a lot of time thinking that they're getting educated. And really, sometimes, well, most of the time, you're getting edumacated. And that means you're getting, well, indoctrinated. What are you doing today? Are you looking into some of the videos that 
forget my channel. How about other people's channel that are trying to show you the reality that they perceive at this time? Their sensors, not their senses, but their sensors are picking up. Okay, it's a very good thing for you to be able to, well, really spend at least an hour a day on yourself. At least. I'm gonna go spend an hour in the gym right now, let's say. I'm gonna even go ahead and use the sauna for about 10 minutes or so. At the gym, they have a dry heat sauna. I can go in for about, it's 160 degrees, so I got about 15 minutes maximum in there. After my workout, then I'm gonna go do some errands. I'm gonna do some errands. What am I gonna do today? I'm gonna get a lot of things that, well, I need to get done because it's Saturday. And Saturday's the day that I do errands and pick up a few things, but then again, what did I do this morning? I researched for about three hours this morning, as I do every morning, to be able to really see what's up with other people's perceptions. And as you can see, there's a lot of controversy over diet right now, a lot. What's the best diet for you? Well, again, you need to go through maybe all of them and check them out and see what's the best diet for you. And then once you get through everything, then you may want to do the, which I'll do other videos on this coming up, the ultimate elimination diet. And that means you're going to eliminate a lot of different things in your, in your food at this time, like phytoestrogens, like, well, phyto, uh, alexins. Those are plant defense mechanisms. How about certain types of irritants, okay, that will irritate or inflame you. We're going to stop that too. What are you going to do? Well, you're going to stop things that give you inflammation. So the big question is, what are you going to eat? <clears throat> Again, that's another whole different set of videos, which I'll be putting out consistently on what I've done. Remember, what did I do okay, to be able to change my diet? And why did I change my diet? is because I could only go so far on the plant-based diet. It is a good spiritual fast. It will ground you to the earth, but in time you will have to refeed and you will have to repopulate a lot of things inside your system that basically got depopulated. And you did get a lot of population of a lot of things. If you gain body fat, remember on your diet, it's not the right diet for you if you get pimples on your face, if you've got a lot of different types of dysfunction in your intestinal tract, remember, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do today? What are you going to do today about your health? And of course, if you don't have any sickness, you're not going to do anything for your health, most likely. So you got to be really smart in the future is you got to really, well, what I tell people is learn the Earth Academy protocols, practices, and principles. They're real simple. Upgrade, enhance, and optimize. And of course, well, you should feel better in about two months once you start removing a lot of the garbage out of your system and de-addicting yourself from carbohydrates and sugar. And of course, doing a simple detoxification protocol, intermittent fasting, block fasting, all different protocols to reestablish iodine in your thyroid different protocols to be able to detox some of the parasites, heavy metals, plastics out of your body. Remember, what are you going to do today? If you're going to regenerate, it's going to be a full-time job to regenerate, as it has been for me for the long, long time. I'd say about 40 years, because I hurt myself really bad 40 years ago. Our car accidents, motorcycle accidents, physical traumas. Anyways, what are you going to do today is depending on the responsibilities that you have today. And so take away some of those responsibilities at least once a week and start putting it towards yourself. I do it, like I said, every day. I spend at least 45 minutes a day, okay, doing some form, stretching, exercise, something to unwind me or rebuild me. So again, diet is everything and you can only go so far on plants. Again, that's a big subject, so we'll get into that other videos. Rethinking reality. We're in town now, so that's it. We'll see you on the next video, guys. And what are you doing today? Do something for yourself. Really. Forget about everybody else. Do something for yourself.
Wow, guys are all surfing out there on their paddle boards. Okay, we'll see you. Aloha. <laughs>